वेलकम टू क्रिएटा क्लासेस दीज आर द फोर बेसिक ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक सम एंड डिफरेंस फॉर्मूलाज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द प्रूफ ऑफ फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला दैट इज कॉस एक्स प्लस वाई फॉर्मूला ओके एक्चुअली वंस यू नो द प्रूफ ऑफ द कॉस एक्स प्लस वाई फॉर्मूला रेस्ट फॉर्मूलाज यू कैन डिराइव विदाउट एनी डिफिकल्टी ओके सो डायरेक्टली प्रोसीडिंग टू द प्रूफ ऑफ दिस फॉर्मूला वी विल स्टार्ट विद द यूनिट सर्कल यूनिट सर्कल हैव ए रेडियस ऑफ वन यूनिट ओके Let's assume the center of the circle is zero zero. Based on this zero zero, let's mark a point A on the coordinate one zero. One zero means x coordinate is at one unit, as the radius of the circle is one unit. Okay, and at point A, y is zero. Any confusion? Let's proceed. Let's mark another point B at angle of x degree, and point C at angle of x plus y degree. From plus x axis, that is zero degree. Are you getting point C line is making x plus y angle from zero degree? All the angles will be with respect to our zero degree or the plus x axis. That is the standard rule. Okay. And lastly, take point D, which is at minus y degree from zero degree. Means y degree in opposite direction. Okay. So we have given four points A, B, C, and D. Next step is to give coordinate to all these points. A point we have already given the coordinate. Now we have to give coordinates to point B, C, and D. Before that, a small fundamental for you. For a unit circle, let's take a line at angle theta. Distance in x direction is a, and distance in y direction is b. The coordinates of the point will be a, b. Okay, A is in x direction and B is in y direction. Are you able to observe this small right angle triangle inside the circle? Let's apply the trigonometric ratios. We know sine theta is perpendicular over hypotenuse. Here, perpendicular is B and hypotenuse is one, as radius of the circle is one unit. Okay, so sine theta is B. And cos theta will be a by one, which is a. So we can replace a by cos theta and b by sine theta. Okay, we can do so. Just understand that coordinate of the points of the unit circle will be cos theta and sine theta of the angle that it is making with zero degree or plus x axis. Okay, here it is making angle theta with plus x axis. So the coordinate of the point is cos theta sine theta. If say at other point at angle alpha, the coordinate will be cos alpha and sine alpha. Got the concept? Same fundamental we will use here. Okay, let's back to the derivation portion. Here point B line is making angle of x degree with plus x axis. So its coordinate will be cos x and sine x. Okay, we have used the fundamental. And our point C is making x plus y degree with respect to plus x axis, so its coordinate will be cos x plus y and sin x plus y. Okay. Further, point D is making angle of minus y degree, so its coordinate will be cos minus y and sin minus y. Okay. Okay. All the coordinates of point A, B, C, and D are freezed. Further, let's join point B and D and A and C. Now we are having four points and two lines that are BD and AC, and we know the coordinate of the four points also. Okay, can we calculate the length BD and AC with help of these coordinates? Can we think how? If we apply the distance formula, we can calculate the length between any two coordinates. That is a part of coordinate geometry. Details we will cover in our coordinate geometry lecture. Okay. For now, just know that distance between any two coordinate, say x1, y1, and x2, y2, is root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Okay. Same we will apply in our case also. We know both the end coordinates. We can calculate the distance BD as BD square is equal to cos x minus cos minus y whole square plus Sin x minus sin minus y whole square. Okay, I think everything is clear till now. Any doubts? You can write in the comment box. Okay, let's move further. 
In similar fashion, we can calculate the length AC. We know both the end coordinates. So applying the distance formula, we got AC square is equal to 1 minus cos x plus y whole square plus 0 minus sin x plus y whole square. Okay. Now if you observe closely, are you able to locate the two triangles inside the circle? These are the two triangles. Are you able to identify them? If we give name to center of the circle as O, we can name the triangles as OBD and OAC. Are these triangles congruent triangles? Think with respect to its side and angles of the triangle. The radius of the circle is one unit. So triangle sides OA, OB, OC and OD all are equal with length of one unit. Okay. Now comes to angle. In triangle OBD, what is this small angle? We can say Y plus this small portion, say delta. So this angle will be Y plus delta. Okay. And in triangle OAC, this angle will be Y and this small portion which we have called as delta. So this angle is Y plus delta. Okay. Don't be confused with the negative sign on Y. It is basically due to rotation in opposite direction. Otherwise the angle is Y degree only. Okay. So don't be confused by this symbol. So on observing both the triangle, we see that angle AOC and angle POD both are equal. That is Y plus delta. And the two sides of both the triangle are also equal. That is one unit. If we apply the SCS rule, that is side angle side rule. This is part of geometry, the congruent triangles that we will cover in our geometry portion. So if you apply the SCS rule, that is side angle side rule, we can say both the triangles are congruent triangles. Okay, got the point. It means that corresponding sides of the triangle must be equal. That is CPCT corresponding parts of congruent triangle are equal to each other. If both of these triangles are concurrent, then their corresponding sides as well as their corresponding angles will be equal to each other. Okay. So the third sides that is AC and BD will be equal to each other. Any issue? We have proved that both the triangles are concurrent triangle. So its corresponding sides will be equal. All the exercise we have done till now is only to get AC is equal to BD. And through the distance formula, we have already calculated the distance of AC and BD. Okay. Squaring both sides, we got AC square is equal to BC square. Let's put the distance that we have just calculated through the distance formula. We got an equation. Okay. We need to solve this equation to get our first formula. Let's solve left hand side first. Just apply some basic trigonometric formulas that is cos minus y equal to cos y sin minus y equal to minus sin y now open the square with formula a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab okay now applying the trigonometric identity formula sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 by applying simple algebra and some basic trigonometric formulas we got our output okay do the same thing with right hand side same basic formulas and basic algebra we got this output now solving left hand side and right hand side we got our first formula as cos x plus y is equal to cos x into cos y minus sin x into sin y okay this is the first and the basic formula under trigonometric sum and difference category observe the formula closely if possible remember it if you are able to remember the formula, it is very nice. Otherwise, we have a technique to remember all the four sum and difference formula that we will cover separately in a separate video. Okay. Okay. This is the derivation of cos x plus y formula and hope you have enjoyed it and hope I am able to deliver the understanding behind the derivation and proof of the formula. Okay. Students, we are having an information for you. We are having a full course of trigonometry on Udemy. Link is in the description. Please check it out. We use animation and visual tools to make you understand the concept to very minute level. The course is having 10 modules, 5 question series and assignments too. We have other courses also. Have a look at the link given in the description. Okay students, that's it for this video. 
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर बीइंग विथ क्रिएटर क्लासेस